the founder and editor of the weekly newspaper, Haiti Liberté. Uh, welcome back again, Kim, because you remember, it was probably about six weeks ago or so, I'm guessing. I asked you whether Haiti was turning into a failed state. You were right to berate me. You said that's a tired cliche. But could we get, be getting any closer now? No, Haiti is undergoing a revolution. It's uh, birthing a new nation, if you will. Uh, Haiti has been under the thumb of Washington basically for a century, since the 1915 U.S. Marine intervention. In the past 30 years, there have been two other U.S.-backed or orchestrated foreign military occupations of Haiti, and they don't want a third, which Washington is trying to do again. And uh, now you see an uprising. They're calling it a gang takeover. But it is simply the armed groups of Port-au-Prince who were armed by the oligarchy, which used to use some of those groups for uh, their own political and economic purposes. These groups are now not shooting at each other anymore. They're shooting at the government, at the oligarchy, and at the U.S. imperialists who have been uh, or they're not shooting at them yet, but if they end up in Haiti, they will be. Uh, so that's what we're watching. Uh, Kim, revolutions, to be successful, they need popular support. Does this have one, yes. have that support? It does. It is the people, the people were waiting to see if the um, front, which is called Vivansam, lived together. And it's lived together because it's basically... Um, the criminal groups, which we could call gangs, versus the vigilante groups, the vigilance brigades, as they're called, who have been fighting over these past four years. But they came together under the leadership, essentially, of Jimmy Cherizier, barbecue. And um, the people were waiting to see if he could, in fact, keep Ariel Henry out. And he has so far succeeded. And so his stock is rising and the vivant sum is rising very much. People, as even the mainstream press is saying, are supporting this uh, uprising because they don't want Ariel back. They realize they have to go through pain and suffering and some trauma, as you do in any revolution. But uh, if it means getting the U.S. out and getting the U.S. and the oligarchy off the people's back, they're ready to pay that price. Do you think now the idea of that Kenyan police force coming to lead an international coalition to neutralize the gangs? Is that idea dead in the water? Totally dead, dead and bobbing in the waves. It is uh, really crazy that uh, you see John Kirby, the White House national security spokesman, saying we are got to get them in. I mean, they're talking now this morning about 400 Kenyan troops landing out of the thousand that they proposed. Uh, they would just be going into a meat grinder and uh, it would be a total mess. Uh, the Haitian people, this is an internal affair. This is an internal Haitian affair. They're not at war with any nation. They're trying to sort things out among themselves. Let Haiti sort it out. And they don't need the U.S. coming in with now its blackface proxies in the form of Kenya and uh, uh, other nations to try to make things better, things that they messed up. If Haitians are going to sort it out themselves, how do you see this playing out? Do you see possibly uh, barbecue and the other armed gangs forcing the government, even without its prime minister, handing in their resignations and some kind of transition and there being a new election? Or do you see the armed gangs wanting to control the country or even the capital themselves? No, I think the um, coalition, the Viva Sam, would make a provisional government, as is generally the process after a, a revolution. And, um, of course, they would end up blocking with other sectors. Uh, you see there's a sector which uh, has under its command a, a group called the BSAP, a militia of about 15,000. There are more in the countryside. Uh, and... Uh, so they would block with those people. Moise Jean-Charles, a former Lavalas uh, senator and presidential candidate of the Petit Dessalines party, uh, is part of uh, that coalition, which also includes a former um, a policeman and soldier who led the 2004 coup against Aristide, uh, Guy Philippe, 
Uh, those two have combined into a front. They would probably mm. combine with the Vivant some people and make some sort of a coalition provisional government. You're the expert we wanted, Kim. Thank you so much for taking the time. Sure thing.